You know, Will, you know, I think if I was there, I mean, I, I would probably just still be in shock, you know, over, you know, just what you see in front of you there. I mean, it's just crazy to think about, you know, that used to be someone's home that you're standing right in front of. And Jason, I've met so many incredible people. Folks here are so nice. They're trying to be uh, as, as positive and, and reassuring to each other as possible in the face of this. Uh, homes that are gone, businesses that are destroyed. The Mississippi Emergency Management telling us that statewide about 1,600 structures are gone, just reduced to piles like this. Utility crews were busy overnight doing what they can to restore a lot of the critical infrastructure. A lot of these big electric poles that were taken down, they're trying to get those up, so they were working throughout the night, of course, trying to do that. And now that we have some daylight, expect to see some heavy machinery continue their work to try and remove a lot of this debris. We've had a couple of days now where uh, homeowners have been able to come through, salvage what they can from their homes, and then now it's time to just say goodbye to what is left of these piles of debris. I had a chance yesterday afternoon to speak with uh, Meg Cooper. She's lived here for 39 years. She has a nonprofit that helps development and businesses and holds community events here uh, in Rolling Fork. And she says it's really just starting to sink in how much has been lost in this tornado. It's going to change the face of the town a lot in years to come, and it has now. We've lost our businesses, the restaurants are gone, uh, the lumber company's gone, you know, the, there was an animal shelter and a veterinarian clinic right near here. Both of the lawyers don't have offices. The, um, the one grocery store in town did survive. It's out on the highway, so we do have that, but basically we've lost all of the businesses for the most part and a great many homes. And Jason, even when we were linking up to have that conversation yesterday, she said, well, I'm going to give you an address of where my office used to be. Uh, let's hope you can get there. And that's the reality that they're facing. There's not going to be normalcy here for months or maybe years because the entire physical identity of this town has been changed. Jason. Well, I, and did that woman say how she's trying to stay inspired? You know, she says there's a lot of good, a lot of good people here. Uh, that she has watched this town uh, grow and do what they can to develop, even in the face of some population loss over the years. And she's concerned that this will lead to more population loss. That people will turn away from living in the Delta. But she doesn't want Rolling Fork to just be remembered for this. She wants people to know about the vibrancy of their local economy, how hard people work here, how they support each other through thick and thin. And she hopes that that stands out in the coverage we bring you, and you know the spirit that they're showing people to try and stand together through this unimaginable chapter in their history. Mm, yeah, it definitely will be a memorable uh, chapter. Will Nunley live for us this morning in Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Thank you so much. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.